In 2013, U.S. authorities successfully apprehended Ross Ulbricht, the owner of a website that became a haven for drug dealers, allowing users to conduct transactions anonymously. This site, part of the dark web, could not be found through ordinary search engines. To understand better, while we may feel like we're diving deep into the internet, we're only scratching the surface. Below that lies the deep web, an unindexed part of the internet that includes routine activities like email, social media accounts, banking transactions, and messaging. However, the dark web delves even deeper, harboring illicit activities such as the sale of weapons, forged documents, and even human organs. The FBI stated that one of the largest online black markets on the dark web was 10 times bigger than Silk Road, requiring a multi-nation effort to shut it down. Given that these sites can't be found via regular search engines, how do people access them? Accessing the dark web requires a special network called Tor. Unlike regular networks, data is routed through multiple connection points, with each one masking the data, similar to how a VPN works but with added layers of security. This keeps your identity and actions on the dark web hidden. However, even with a special network, some sites are only accessible by invitation, making it difficult to track illegal activities. But the dark web isn't solely for criminal use. It also serves as a refuge for people living under authoritarian regimes to access information, and for political activists and journalists investigating government misconduct to communicate securely. Additionally, it provides a secure space for storing research data that requires high security and privacy. Thus, the dark web is like a double-edged sword. What do you think? Should the dark web continue to exist, or should it be eradicated due to its negative aspects?